Hello there. My name is Amut Pradhan. I would like to share manual adjustment techniques to implement VAT margin scheme to run VAT return into zero accounting software. I'm trying to explain here in details for companies who runs businesses with full VAT margin scheme or mixed VAT schemes and who is new to zero accounting software. If someone is well known of this software, can move on to step two and step three and then step seven directly. So let's start our step one, where we set up new default VAT rate for input VAT on cost of goods sold account. Let's choose at once. So we select the cost of goods sold here, 310 code we change the 20% to generate expenses for input value here so we move on to step 2 now and we create new tax rate for output back So now we click on accounting again at once and tax rate. So here we entirely create a new tax rate giving name as margin scheme. So we give a name in margin schemes and we click on the save button and it will create the new tax rate here as I have done before so now we move on to step 3 where we set up a, this new tax default tax rate in sales account again we click on this accounting, advance, chart type account. We choose this code 200 sales. Now we change this 20% to margin scheme and we save again. Now we finish our step 3. We move on to step 4 where we create product, create supplier and purchase bill so create the product we click on this business product and service and new item we keep this number 1013 so our product will be This is our inventory item. You can see here generated expenses, our default. Set up the sales. And you can see here in the output band the margin scheme is default now we have created the product now we create the supplier from this contact choosing the supplier and click on this new contact it will appear new contact detail Field, we fill in this field and save so on but here I would like to choose from our existing supplier so now we raise a purchase bill here 
from this create button from this supplier giving this code now we are ready to purchase and raise the invoice so now we move on to step five where we create customer and raise the sales invoice again we select this contact to create the customer from this new contact button and we can fill in this field accordingly and then we save and close now I would like to choose from my existing contact customer contact so now we create this sales invoice from this create button so our customer will be XYZ limited friends will be this item we had purchased before so now we are going to raise this sales invoice so we allocate the payment into bank account giving the invoice reference Now we complete it and raise the sales invoice. Now is let's move on to step six where we prepare a spreadsheet of that. In here we have date, stock reference, product, invoice number, or sold price. Our sold price was 9,000 purchase price was 6,000 so we calculate from this set the margin that one sixth of this margin and net now we move on to step seven. This is our final step. We adjust in bad return for margin bad scheme. Start date. Min date. Here. Yeah. We can see box one to nine. Now let's choose this transaction by tax rate where we can see our latest invoice number 11 is in a margin scheme area and below there is in adjusted area. We have already adjusted. So we need to adjust here the bad amount. So we click on this invoice number Where we can see this invoice we have created now before we edit this invoice we make a copy print copy and we download this copy into our computer and we upload the invoice into our system as well we print it we download it now so we upload this downloaded invoice for our future reference so we upload here in the system
now you can see this invoice you can use in the future time to give to customer now let's move on to edit this invoice so first of all we need to remove this payment from the invoice clicking on it and we have to make a note for this payment mode date invoice and price because we need we have to reinstate this invoice this payment into invoice again after editing the invoice so this is our bank account invoice number 11 9 june date 9000 payment so we have to remember this so now we click on this option and remove from the invoice as you can see here we removed the payment from invoice now it's ready to edit So it appear here, this column, tax amount column. We're gonna change this to column here. So our bat is 500 pound, net sales is 8,500. So this will be 8,500 here, and this will be 500 pound. So you can see here 8,500. Tax amount 500 and gross 9000. We update. Confirm. So again, we reinstate this payment as it was before. Now, it's been changed here. So we can check now you can see here before and after before three seven one six point six six now here let's check now you can see this adjusters field and here sales invoice number 011 9500 8500 and this is our input that of this product and now you can see this is our output that of this product in margin scheme so now we have finished our process and I believe that if we practice two three times we can adjust the margin scheme comfortably to prepare our company bad return thank you for watching this video bye